Okay, welcome back. So we have all the sub-assemblies done. As you can see, the legs are all put together. The um, three sets of arms, three sets of legs. You have everything here, right? So everything's painted, cleared, and together at this point. So you can see where the where the pegs went. You know, you can see the, the, the blue. So we're going to be touching those up, but we're gonna to touch those up once it's assembled. So now we're gonna to get to the part where we're gonna kind of start putting them back together um, a little bit. So the, the first thing we're gonna do is, is we're gonna to have to kind of put the accessories on here and then we're gonna heat those up. We're gonna get them on there. We're gonna get the diaper on there to kind of hold everything in. And then we're gonna be putting in these sh uh, shoulder sockets. So we're gonna get the heat gun going. I stabbed myself a little bit, but it's all right. So we got the, the gear all painted up which is gonna go on there. And you're gonna have to kind of put it from the bottom up to the top and you'll see. But you're gonna have to heat this up because right now it's pretty rigid. So you're gonna have to heat it up a bit and, and kind of loosen it up. Same thing with the belt. And I'm also gonna show you, I removed the holster, the hip holster from the belt because I just, I really was just kind of irking me. It wasn't, it wasn't doing, wasn't doing anything for me. And so, and like I said, as, as a driver, these guys are drivers, they would never have anything like that because they wouldn't be able to pull it if they were, um, if they were driving and they needed to return fire, they wouldn't be able to pull that gun out anyways. So, so we're gonna just kind of gently get it on there. Like I said, you want to be careful because you don't want to be chipping up the paint and stuff. Look at that, look how cool that looks already. Okay. So, and then here's the belt. Like I said, I, uh, I still gotta do a little bit. There we go. I had to take that, I had to take that holster off. I think, it, I just think it looks cleaner, it looks better. But same thing, we're gonna heat this up a bit. And then get it on. So we're gonna get all, um, all the accessories on. Cause you're gonna wanna put the, um, the knife sheath and all that kind of stuff on before you put it in and, uh, put it in socket. So I guess like that. And then we're going to put that like that. And then same thing with the diaper, you want to heat it up. Get it a little bit loose, a little bit uh, pliable. And then you want to Like I said, you don't want to be rough with it, but you're going to have to be kind of firm with it because, you know what I mean, it is, you know, plastic. But, uh, you also don't want to be too rough because you don't want to end up doing a bunch of, uh, touch-up work. Tell me that doesn't look the shit right there. Okay. Now, when we put the, the, the neck one back in, one thing that I do, it's because it's just hard for whatever the way that it's molded, um, I will take, it, it makes it difficult to put back on once you, you've taken it off. So I'll run the scalpel in there and I'll, I'll take off some of the, uh, take off some of the material on the inside before I uh, stick it back on. It just makes it easier for me. So then get them on the skewer. Got them like that, so that way you can kind of hold them, kind of fondue style. Put them over here like this, see that? And put them right over here. And let it get soft and, and put it on. So I'm going to show a couple of these things like this kind of real time, and, and I guess I will have to figure out how to fill this time with talking to keep you entertained during this time. So I will say this, this was a fun build. This was, you know, a Stinger Driver was one of my favorites as a kid. The Stinger was one of my favorite vehicles, and it's just sort of—it's just sort of odd, you know. When when I decided to do to do these Stingers, um, it was—I mean, it just so happened like a, a, you know a couple of days later they they introduced that Valiverse Jeep, and then now you know a lot of people are speculating whether or not um, Hasbro is going to have to counter with with actually finally giving us a, a Vamp, a Stinger, or whatever. Um, I would love to see that. I mean, if they, you know, made stingers, holy shit. I mean, I would buy, I would probably buy at least a dozen of them. 
See if you can get that neck back on there like that. Okay, so now we're gonna go to putting the the shoulder the shoulder the shoulder joints in there like that. Okay, so same thing. You have to get it real, real hot. Um, a good job in, in heating it up because you got to push it into that hole, and then you got to push the the, the the hole in the torso, and then you got to push the, the the other shoulder assembly into this hole. So you want to make sure things are nice and soft. And put that motherfucker back in there somehow. You might need a little something to kind of help push it in that hole because it is it is difficult. Okay, so we're going to try to put this thing here on the side, like we did this one. As you can see, we've got the arms and stuff like that in there, starting to really take shape, so I'm really good. Like I said, you want this really, really, really smushable, because you got to push it down into that hole, and it was a pain in the ass. At least it is to me. Somebody might have a better way of doing it, but I just basically heat it up and push it back in there. <coughs> so it takes a little bit of wrestling uh, to do, and, and it does get kind of frustrating and, and all that kind of stuff. I have to kind of um, try to shoehorn it down in there. So I try to get it to where it's kind of all the way in there. And then with a paintbrush or a toothpick or something, I like to try to get it lined up in there. Try to get it in there. I have to push it down, like I said. And I mean, the, and the reality is, is you are going to cause some paint chipping and stuff. So you're gonna want to be, you want to be careful. Uh, so you don't want anything that's like too, too big and, and blunt to push it down. You want something that's a little bit smaller and sharper. Like I'll use the end of like this skewer thing, and just make sure you don't punch a hole in nothing and then I just start trying to pack it down in there and I said it takes a little bit so but that's how I do it I just kind of pack it down in there like that and if it starts getting a little um starting to cool off a little bit and, and that plastic gets a little bit a little bit harder then I'll put it back under the uh, back under the heat and I'll do all that for all of them except it's a little bit of a a little bit of a task but um we got to get it done all right, so then I'm going to get everything fully assembled, and then um, we'll do the, the final review. Okay, we're back, and we have all of this stuff put back together. So we have the bodies with the, with the arms on them, the legs, and just if you're going to do this particular figure, you know, it's going to depend on the accessories that the figure you get. But on this one, you need to put the sheath on before you connect the top part of the leg because you can't pull it down from the from the top so um so you're gonna have to you have to push it up from the bottom all right so let's let's put it back together so let's start heating up some some legs so we got a pair of legs right here and she knows how to use them so let's get them nice and hot and then we're gonna put them on and then we're gonna uh take a look at them like i said the last thing that that i need to do is a touch up and i'm not gonna there's no point in you watching that it's just cleaning up all the little lines and edges and if any little uh, you know any little uh scratches or, or nicks in the paint or anything like that but that's it and you know that'll probably be another you know maybe 10 or 15 minutes with it with the work or whatever but uh i'm excited i'm excited to see what this looks like so um uh, we shall see if we get these pretty good okay let's do this guy this guy we're gonna put his little dagger in there let's heat up a helmet 
so that way uh, so we can get it on nice and snug. And then last thing is the, uh, the AK. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's my Stinger driver. It's his modified AK. So like I said, it's going to be a good looking figure. Look at that. Tell me that guy isn't fucking tits, man. Tell me you don't want... 12 stingers and, and to go with 12 of these drivers. So let's grab the first one. So you can see the comparison of how they uh, how they look side by side. So I'm not gonna lie, I much prefer this one. I think this ends up just, I mean, I think it just ends up fucking killing it. Like I said, the, the, the gear and all the stuff that they made and the design that they went with, yeah, I think it I think it worked out really really well. All right, so there's our stinger drivers. Um, if you want to see a picture of all three of them put together and the one with the uh, the custom forearms or the um, you know the, the alternate forearms, uh, tune into my Instagram page uh, and and check out for that post. And so there we go, stinger driver with a modified AK, exactly what I want to be driving my in my uh, Cobra Convoy that's going to be coming up. So I might end up making a couple more of these um, depending on how many vehicles I end up getting. But um, yeah, there it is. All right. Well, thank you for, for uh, you know, bearing with me and get through the process. I know sometimes I can kind of ramble on a little bit and, and kind of get off, off subject. But hey, as long as we're still talking about just G.I. Joe and all of it, right, and, and nothing else, it's a wonderful thing. All right. So thank you for watching and we'll... Uh, see you next time.